welcome back to Home the Collector with me, Jace, and another video for the Tarantula Diary section. And this one, it's the housing of all these little beauties sat to my left. So there was so much to do, guys, as you can appreciate that I had to cut it into two videos. And in all fairness, after a while, well, my phone battery went flat anyway, but I didn't film all of these, like the eye mirrors on the end there. The Peomenias, I didn't film any of those. So, yeah, but we'll, in the future, we'll be going through all these enclosures anyway. I mean, we'll be doing rehousing, feedings, everything, molts. So, so yeah, there will be, we will get to look at all these in depth over future videos. So don't worry about that. Anyway, listen, this, this video is going to be long enough as it is. So let's, let's get cracking and let's get stuck into it. Here we go. I'll see you at the end. Okay. Hi everyone. And welcome to the first of the housing videos. I say the first, cause I can't see, I'm going to get all this done in one video. So I'm going to be starting off with the Fanke reds. I've got four of them. Now I'm putting them into these big enclosures. So I'm just going to give this a mist now before I put him in. Got this in a uh, a pasta bowl, so if he does scarper, he'll go in there. Although he's got a lovely little drawbridge here, or she has got a lovely little drawbridge. Okay, here we go. This is my first time dealing with this species. I've never never dealt with it before. Hopefully, guys, you'll be able to see it. You have to bear with me. I'm I can't just watch what the camera's doing. I've got to watch what I'm doing as well. Like I could say this is a, this is a new one for me, so I don't know how this guy's going to behave. And there it is. Oh, he's actually built a little web. He's actually built a little web around himself. Okay, let's get him in there. Go on, mate. In your new home. Look at that. What a little stunner. Can you see that, guys? What a little stunner that is. I have got some live food for it as well. I'm going to feed these as I go. I've got some pretty small crickets here. I don't know if you can see. I think this guy is going to be ample sized to take them out. So I'm going to chuck a couple of these in there. Now these these do actually have a top loader here, but I'm not going to bother with that because he's he's gone off and hit anyway, so that's fine. Okay, that's our first tea in successfully. Okay, here we go with the second one, everyone. So I've got four of these, so. The problem is with this is you never know if they're gonna come bolting out. You saw how quick he moved. That last one did, he was, he was gone. He's right here by my finger. There we go. Look at that fantastic little fella. Okay, mate, let's get you in there. They really are stunning. Here we go. Come on. And there he goes. Okay, this one looks a bit bigger. Certainly a lot more active appears to be anyway than the other two. Tissue paper's being a dick. What a stupendous trencher these are. There you go mate. You gotta make yourself at home in there. Look at that, what a beauty. Absolute beautiful trenches. Okay. See if we can make it four for four with no problems. Whoa, beautiful. A beautiful little tranche. Okay, mate, go on. There 
There he is. And that's all four of the Van K Reds in and homed. Superb. Right. On to the next ones. Now I'm going to do the second Balfouri commune. In fact, I think, I don't know if that will even fit in there. No, well, it'll give it some. Okay, now, <laughs> they've got a lot of Balfouris to put in here. A lot of Balfouris. So, um, here we go. Cricky, these are in tight. Oh, actually, these ah, these ones from Spider Shop are actually quite a good size. Okay, okay. Well, we might have to do another commune then. I'm sure they'll be okay in here. The eight of them from Spider Shop, but uh, yeah, look at that. These these are these are quite a bit bigger than the other slings we had, aren't they? Yeah, <clears throat> these are these are a good size. I'll um I'll put all these together once they. Uh, can you see that, guys? I'm just getting to come in there. There you go. That's two in as they grow and everything. So there'll be plenty of footage of them all in the future. These Balfouris are being really well behaved. Not much smaller, but a bit smaller. There we go. That's the eight Balfouris in their enclosure. Now, I'm fairly confident that they're big enough to take down their own prey, so I'm going to I'm going to chuck these in a couple of cockroaches. I'm sure they'll uh, be able to take these out all right on their own. Now for these little enclosures, which I've got to say I'm not a massive fan of. So I think what we'll do is, uh, let's have a look. So here's the Achaea. Okay, now I'm not quite sure I'm going to get him out of here because they're in a... How on earth am I going to get that out of there? Try and get my tongue in behind it. There we go. Come on, mate. There you go. That's it. That's it. You're out. Well done. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Brilliant. Sorry guys, I know I was very quiet then, but I was really concentrating on that. Really for these things. I wish they were more like the... Uh... See, this is the problem with this sort of enclosure. Come on, get him. You see, can you see how easy you get his leg trapped in that? So he's literally right on that knuckle where you close the lid. So, I need to be very careful here. I'm on closing this. Okay, so we'll go for the Valhalla's next. They're right in the back of here. 
I've got to try. Oh, crikey, very lively. Very lively indeed. There he is. You're going to go. This one looks really quite lethargic. Probably right once he's warmed up a bit. This is why I like to get them housed as soon as I can. I like to get them out of their, their like travel containers and what have you. Okay, that's the Valhalla's done. I'm being ever so gentle with the tongs here, guys. To try and coax him out, he wants to go back in, you see doesn't want to come out so I'm trying to see how he runs back in this one's not wanting to come out at all come on mate I know you you'll be all right no he does not want to come out this one doesn't I've got to be so gentle with these tongs he just does not want to come out at all Come on, mate. There we go. And the other one. Oh, yes, definitely. Oh, bugger, he ran back in. There he goes. Look at that. Perfect. Love it when they come out like that. You see that, guys? I know a lot of these slings look very similar at this age. Some slings are extremely striking. But trust me, these it's great watching these things grow and when they molt and, and seeing the difference and how much they change. Really are fantastic. Uh, uh, this will come in future videos, guys. I'll, I'll show you everything that I can and I'll film as much as I can. It, it's a little difficult on, on doing it on my own. But, you know, again, this, this is stuff that I'll, I'll learn to do as I go along. And um, you just got to trust me. You're, you're going you're gonna to be really interested in this. Fantastic. A lot of this is a learning curve for me now as well. Uh, a lot of these species are not, they're new to me, so. Okay, guys, so that's it for part one of the housing. So I do hope you enjoyed that. Now, be sure to check out part two, which I'm hoping to have out tomorrow. It should be out tomorrow. In all fairness, it's already recorded. I've already got to edit it. And um, yeah, there's, in part two, we have got the housing of potentially the, well, one of the biggest spiders on the planet which is a theraphosa blonde pattern two theraphosa blondes housing them and one of the little slingy poos here has a bit of a surprise for me yeah so that's in part two so be sure to check that out and I say it should be out tomorrow but usual time six o'clock so i'll catch you then so all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed this video please click the like button anything at all guys anything at all you know the score shove it in the comments below and i'll get back to you and if you haven't done so already i really would really would appreciate it if you consider subscribing to the channel and i'll catch you all on the next video we'll say which will be done which will be part two and part two so and we'll get the last of these little boys and girls in their homes their temporary homes okay i'm going i'm rabbiting it's wrong see ya <laughs>